Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this session on Build with Near with me, Gyan. Uh, in this session, uh, this is the chapter two of our series uh, in module one. In this entire series, we are actually going to be walking through a smart contract and looking at the different uh, components of the smart contract. In this particular chapter, we'll take a sneak peek into contract imports, uh, which of course come right at the start of the contract. So it is very important to understand what it means uh, to import the different dependencies, libraries inside our contract and use them. So let's get started. Now, uh, the next thing on our agenda, of course, was to just walk through this contract, right? So let's see what uh, is there in this contract. Uh, as you can see, the first line is importing some libraries. So we are importing uh, from the near SDK uh, uh, AS, a uh, couple of uh, uh, data structures, uh, uh, functionalities that we require to use in the contract. So we are going to uh, import the context, which will provide context for the contract execution. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it will have information about the transaction sender, uh, about uh, how much money was attached uh, with that particular transaction, uh, etc. Right. And then logging uh, is of course used to uh, print out some statements that we are, uh, as you can see, uh, one of the examples, uh, something that we want to log right on the console. We can use logging for that. Uh, storage uh, is used to uh, determine uh, the storage related parameters for a contract. So uh, this represents the contract storage, right? And then persistent DQ. So what is persistent DQ? Uh, let us take a look at this. Uh, 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 it's a different type of uh, a collection that is built on top of the storage class exposed by the near platform. You will find some other similar uh, uh, collections uh, called persistent vector, persistent map, which you may need to use in your uh, contract as you go. Right. So what is uh, this particular uh, data structure that we are using? It's called persistent DQ. Uh, it implements Q. Uh, a persistent bidirectional queue that is a double ended queue or DQ. So you can see here that uh, the syntax uh, to create a DQ is let then the name of the variable, a uh, new uh, persistent DQ, and then what type of DQ do you want to create? A string type. And here we need to choose a unique prefix per account. Uh, why do we need this prefix? As you can see in the node. Uh, since all the data that is stored on the blockchain, uh, especially on the near blockchain, is kept in a single key value store under the contract account. Therefore, to, uh, to determine it uniquely or to access it uniquely, uh, we must use a unique storage prefix for different collections to avoid the data collision. So if you're going to have another collection, for example, persistent vector in the same contract, you will need to pick another unique prefix uh, to uh, identify that particular uh, collection, right? So uh, you can go through this. Uh, uh, there is uh, There are different uh, other collections as well, which you can go through. What are the functions related to this, the constructor, accessors, the different methods, etc. Right. Uh, so I'll put a link to this as well in the description box. Now, um, don't worry about learning all of this in one shot. As you go, th as we walk through the contracts and write our own contract, we will get to learn more about what these mean. Right. Thank you, everyone, for attending this session. Uh, I hope you are now clear with what are the different uh, libraries, dependencies that you can bring into your contract and how. Um, you can, of course, do your own research and uh, figure out what are the uh, dependencies, the different kind of data structures, uh, collections that have been uh, made available by NEAR to be useful for your contract. And of course, uh, uh, learn more about it uh, on the near website as well. Uh, thank you once again for attending uh, this session and I look forward to seeing you in the rest of the sessions as well.